The latest video will discuss Mother the Mountain Farm. Most individuals live in concrete jungles. The world has changed significantly and touched human lives in various ways, but there's a flip side to everything. Life is simpler, but simpler is not always better. With sources depleting daily and the land progressively losing potency, several problems are likely to arise. Food, weather, and poor living conditions should be reduced. No worries, improvements are being made. I present Mother the Mountain Farm. Join us as these younger girls nurture nature to improve tomorrow. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel and like watching movies like this, a sub would be amazing. The sisters joined YouTube on Feb 18th, 2017 to promote regenerative farming and living to protect the future. Juliana and Anastasia Vanderbell run Mother the Mountain Farm on YouTube. They're from Bunchalung Country near Byron Bay. Their farm is in a subtropical rainforest valley with creeks, rivers, and waterfalls. They plan to build a self-sustaining future on their ancestral farms while preserving it for future generations. They use YouTube to document their journey as they learn how to farm and care for their animals in harmony with nature and their cattle. Since 2017, they've released 115 videos vlogging the subtropical rainforest and their activities with calming music, gaining 569k subscribers and over a billion views. Their net worth is $93,780 and they generate $424 each day on YouTube with 181,000 daily views. With 5 million views, they make about $23,000 every month. The final month saw 19k subscribers. Canoeing to Hidden Orchard and our magical permaculture food forest have 3.6 million views after 11 months. The sisters canoe through a river with lily pads, moderate heat, and chirping bugs to gather fruit from the other side. Peaceful and nice video. The film shows their gentle, loving nature, making them more likable. Their compassionate behavior shows their love, suburbanites, unique lifestyle, and fresh approach to make them likable. I'm sure they'll soon be feeding their neighbors and helping the farmers. We applaud their self-sustainability efforts and wish them well. They're the third generation of the family and grew up on the farm helping their parents garden, pick fruits, and care for the animals. As they grew up, they traveled to cities for research, but the pandemic struck rapidly and their father died. Julia started experiencing health issues, so they returned to their fatherland and enjoyed taking care of their farm. They started keeping a farm journal on Instagram throughout the epidemic to share their delight as they worked towards regenerative living and farming. In seclusion, they admired the beauty and shared it online, creating a large online community. They love nature and design clothes from discarded materials. You can help them restore nature on their website. We desire these people so much, the epidemic showed us that cash is just a medium of exchange and we don't need it if we're self-sufficient. Living on farms in Australia, preserving nature and saving the earth is a great cause, but assets are deceasing and the futures may be bleak. As they study and farm, they encourage world change. Their goats, geese with flower caps, and farms are amazing in the videos. So this is it for today guys. Thanks for watching and commenting below your favorite fruit. Oh, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Thank you, see you next time.